I got a new lightsaber. <laughs> Hey guys, me host Super Sorrow. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got! I got something a little bit different, a little bit random. It's a lightsaber. <laughs> a couple of people in the comments asked for me to grab one of these um, lightsabers. Uh, this is the lightsaber forge. Now I remember when it was called Builder Blades or Blade Builders, and then they changed it to Light Lightsaber Academy, and it's been called other things over the years. And apparently, <coughs> I've been watching some of Dano's reviews, Dano channel. If you haven't seen Dano's channel. Please check him out. Um, Dano said that all these pieces are actually compatible with the old Blade Builder stuff. So if you've hung on to any of your old Blade Builders, these are all compatible. So, very cool. I never had any Blade Builders. Ooh, what's that in the bottom? There's like a green thing at the bottom. What's that? Yeah. Uh, tape. <laughs> I'm guessing that's fallen in from whatever shop I bought that. I, I got this from Asda. I'm guessing this green tape has fallen in it. One of the staff members or something. That's funny. I thought it was like a little kyber crystal or something at the bottom. This little green thing was glowing at me. I'm like, what is that? Tape. <laughs> How random. Anyway, this is Mace Windows lightsaber. It's the non-electronic versions, and these are a little bit on the expensive side, to be honest. These are $17.99 for a non-electronic lightsaber. That's pretty spendy. I was hoping this was going to make noise and stuff, but it doesn't. But it's one of those uh, extractor blades, so I've got it because I know that Super Sorrel Jr. will play with it when I'm done with it anyway. Because I know Super Sorrel Jr. and she loves a good lightsaber, and she hasn't had one in a while. And I don't, I think, I'm not sure where her blue one's gone, to be honest. We did have like a proper good blue one by the side of the bed that was from Disney Store from years ago. I don't even know where that is anymore. I'm not sure if it's still there and I just don't notice. But I thought she'd play with this when I'm done anyway. We are going to Disney very soon. So I'm pretty sure she'll be building her own pink blade while she's out there anyway. Because she wanted to do it last time when she was too young. When we got her this little red lightsaber. That was like, maybe, uh, you've probably seen it on the channel. It was like right for her height. It was like a smaller saber. Uh, whereas this time she's obviously a little bit older. She's going to want her own saber. So all the pieces here, it comes in, comes in four pieces. So you've got the blade itself, which expands and extracts and all that good stuff. So there's the blade. There's the hilt with the, uh, yeah, with the Jedi logo on that. That's the, that's the bottom part. That's the bit with a hole, isn't it? And that's the pummel with a little fake kyber crystal at the bottom. Okay. Does that one go into there? Aha! And that goes over there. Okay, cool. Did you guys see what I just did there? I don't know if you guys can even see what I just did. <laughs> what I'm thinking of best is if we actually build this together on the desk cam. Uh, so obviously then you guys can see what I'm doing. So, let's go down to the desk cam. All right, guys, so here are all the pieces. So we've got the actual blade itself. Let's not put it like that, because that looks really weird. <laughs> we've got the blade itself. From this angle, it looks so weird. Then we've got the <laughs> we've got the top part of the saber, and then the two pieces that slot together to make the rest of it. So, I believe this goes, no, 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 don't be silly. That goes in there. And that slots in like that. Okay. And this goes on here. And that sort of screws into place. Like that. And then but we need to put this in first. So uh, push the buttons and turn, and that just slides out. We need to put that in first as well. Okay, try this again. So we need to put that in first. Does that go in? Nope. Nope. Hmm. Well, that's the little stupid kyber crystal, so that has to go into there. That's where that sits, right? I 
I can't build a children's toy. <laughs> there's no, there's no instructions either. I am really stupid. Oh, it tells me on the box what to do. You absolute buffoon! Right, that goes in there. That into there, like we had before. So that slots like that. You put that in like that first, and then screw that over the top. And there's your saber. Aha! Right. <laughs> It's actually a decent little saber to be honest. Let's go back to the full cam so you guys can see it properly. But yeah, it's actually a decent saber. It's got it's got that old problem though of not wanting to retract, which is annoying. But yeah, it's a very nice saber. I probably won't display it. I probably won't have the saber blade in it. Let's go back to the main cam. So there it is when it's fully done. Um I'm probably not gonna be using the saber. Only I'll only give use this bit when I'm playing with Super Soul Jr. It does have a button and stuff, so it can do things. Um, I think there are uh, like ele electronic accessories that can be added to these. Because um, there is like a button there and stuff, but it obviously does nothing right now. Uh, it feels very rattly, to be honest. Uh, but it is made for kids, like I say. But yeah, you can extend the blade and then you've got Mace Windows. <laughs> Clone Wars style blade. Like I say, probably not going to be displaying it with that. So basically you just push the little side bit and untwist. And then pull up, that, the, the saber bit will come out, and then just tie that back on, and then you've got the hilt of the saber. Because the hilt, the actual saber hilts <laughs> are actually very nice. Uh, they're just, yeah, they're definitely made for kids though, let's be honest. And I kind of knew that going into it, let's be fair. But they are still fun, and it does have a little belt clip, should you wish to want to attach that to your belt and stuff. There is a way of attaching it on. But yeah, not bad going for a little kid's toy. Super Soul Jr. is going to have endless hours of fun with that, though. With the fact that these sabers are completely buildable and customizable, I am, and the fact that they all break apart, I am so surprised they've not made a Kanan Jarrus one. With the fact that in Rebels, Kanan obviously dismantles his to put on his person to hide the fact that he's a Jedi in the early episodes. So that would be really cool to recreate in this form, because you could genuinely dis it, like pull it apart and then, you know, reassemble Kanan's lightsaber just like he does when he goes into battle. So that could be a very cool concept for them to do in the future. But for now, meh. The ones that are available, you've got like Yoda, Ahsoka, Mace Windu, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, I think that's all of them? Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, I think that's all of them so far. They're not based on the lightsabers of the actual Jedis as far as I'm aware. These are just random things. Because like Ahsoka's is like a weird like cross guard lightsaber almost it's a very weird design and so is yoda's so it is just made for fun but yeah not bad but what are your thoughts on the saber let us know in the comments down below if you enjoyed today's video please let us know in the comments if you want to see me and super soul jr have a lightsaber fight please comment down below and thank you very much for watching until next time may the force be with you